Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Fishing with Big D. Uh, today's episode, I'm going to be testing out a new rod and reel combo that I got. Um, I do want to throw it out there that this one's actually not a sponsored item. So this wasn't sent to me by a company to test out and review. I actually bought this on my own. I found this deal and I think it was a heck of a deal at the Bass Pro Shops, guys. Uh, once a year, they do a crappy event where just about anything that has to do with crappy fishing has uh, some deals up to 25 and 50 percent off so i ended up going down there i've been looking into trying to get me one of the larger rods a nine foot rod to try out i've seen a lot of people use these rods i'm used to pan fishing with smaller rods and really lightweight action gear and i really enjoy that but i also have a few issues with that i have issues getting really good cast out there especially from fishing some like mountain ponds or wooded area ponds it's kind of hard to get fishing gear and stuff where you need it to to fish those really good looking spots and i'm kind of limited to how far i can cast so i've been looking into getting me a nine foot rod for a long time now and i ended up finding a really good deal let me show you what i got here guys <clears throat> and i'll throw some pictures with some information one of the sides of the video there so you could get a better look but I went and I actually purchased this nine foot two piece rod. It's made by the Bass Pro Shop section and uh, it's Crappy Max series. I'll show you that little label there. Hopefully you guys can see it. My lighting is not the greatest, but this is called the Mighty Light Rod. Uh, like I said, it's a two piece rod. It's nine foot long. This is the model number is CMLT90-2. In case you guys want to look at this and for yourselves maybe go purchase it but it has a lower weight capacity from 164th an ounce to one quarter of an ounce so it gives me a pretty good amount of uh, weight as far as crappy and pan fishing guys that's about the highest I'm gonna go is a quarter ounce and I doubt I would even use that I like to go really small uh, this will hold line from two pound to ten pound test and it is a ultra light moderate action rod this thing is really 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 nice i love the color scheme on it it's got this really nice soft grip foam material I'm not for sure exactly what they call it but it has a real nice grip it's not going to slip as bad and then we've got your standard uh real seating right here it's got the spinner on it that will lock it down once again, this is a two-piece rod set. Uh, I love the fact that it's got this bright, visible yellow color here. We're going to go test this out on the water, and I'm going to get you a full review with my opinion on it. But normally in the stores, guys, this rod is going to cost you $49.99. It's a $50 rod. I don't like to pay a whole lot of money for my fishing gear especially on smaller stuff like pan fishing because you could get by with walmart stuff and do perfectly well but with the 25 percent off i ended up getting this really really cheap now let me show you the reel that i went and got for this combo that was sold separate this is the crappy max series this is a cma 500 spinning reel combo this has a four bearing system power lock instant anti-reverse it's got aluminum spool. It's a 481 gear ratio. Overall, it's a nice little reel just to do some pan fishing with. Guys, I think this is normally 20 to 30 bucks in the store. I caught this also on sale. So altogether, I've got 75 bucks in this and it would have cost me closer to 100 bucks. 75 bucks for a really nice combo. And on top of that, I had a online coupon that I printed off and bought the combo and I ended up getting a free pack of strand monofilament line. I got some four pound here. So what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna take this, cut it out of the package, spool it up, set my gear, and we're gonna go out and we're gonna fish with it and put it to the test and see if we can't catch some fish on it. All right guys, we've made it out here to the pond. That's what I'm using. I'm using these, I think they're 
64th or 68th ounce trout magnets. I like to use the gold ones. I'm not for sure why, but that color seems to entice a few more bites than most. And I have a gold minnow presentation. That's what I'm throwing right there. I've tied this on with a little Palomar knot. I try to keep that knot positioned at the top of the eye so that we get a nice straight presentation. And I just have a little float here, small float. But today a little bit different. I'll be using this crappy max rod that I got a heck of a deal on. This combo would have cost me about 80 to 100 bucks, I believe. It's a nine footer. I ended up getting it for 50 bucks. Uh, a little bit concerned. Looks like they've drained this pond somehow or somewhat. It's not normally this shallow. I wasn't able to see that far down. It only looks like it's about two feet deep, maybe three. I know that there's a deeper ledge that falls around that area. So I'm gonna give it a shot for a little while and just see what I can find. I should be able to get a lot better cast with this nine foot rod. This thing is awesome. It is so lightweight. You can feel the sensitivity in it. Quite amazing. I've got, oh yeah, look at that. That's some serious casting ability right there. This thing is super sensitive in the tip down there. This is going to work very well in getting those baits out there to the deeper water. Hopefully you can see this yellow style bar bobber that I bought. And that's all I'm going to do is I'm just going to twitch this along. The water is actually a lot more shallow than what I thought it'd be. Looks like they've drained some. I'm just going to work this along until we can locate some of these fish. Maybe we can entice a bite or two. Might have to move along to a secondary area. Try to find that deep water. I feel like it's still where they're going to be even though it's warming up. But I'm loving this combo, guys. This thing is awesome. Lightweight action. Let's me get really far casts. Sensitivity is amazing. Rain's starting to pick up, but if you guys are anything like me, you're not just a fair weather fisherman. You like to get out there, rain, sleet, snow, or shine, try and catch these fish. I just feel like we might struggle at finding them today, though. But we have about an hour, hour and a half as long as things don't get rough, we'll fish all the way through and see what we can find. We got our first taker, guys. It's fighting pretty good. <laughs> Man, this pole, you can feel everything through it. Now look how big this bluegill is, guys. Now this is a very nice bluegill. I about can't get my hand around him. We hooked him right in the top of the snoot. That is a big bluegill. Look at that. I know people are going to say, oh, well, you still get your fingers around him. But for my area, that is a massive bluegill for Virginia. Really nice. Look at that big old black spot on the side there. That is a fat, chunky one. Look how thick that is to my thumb. That's what we're looking for, guys. I say he's just shy of a pound. He's got a monster mouth. Look at that. He's got some big old teeth. Big old winter bluegill. On this flooded weather, it's brought him in up in the shallows, I believe. Let's let him go. <laughs> oh man, that's what it's all about. Caught him on my nine foot ultralight. This is from Bass Pro. It's made by Crappy Max. It's the Mighty Elite. 
This thing is sweet. And I could feel the subtle vibrations, and he finally ran up and caught that. Wasn't far from this wooded area. A lot of branches in the water. Let's get back out there and try again. Alright, we're back in our spot. There he is. Come on, take it, take it, take it, guys, take it. Oh, we got him that time. Oh, he's a fighter. He looks good, too. Look at that. Look at that, guys. I love the action of this reel and this rod. I know he didn't feel real small. He felt good. And that's what he is. It's another nice fat bluegill. Nice one for this side. Look at the size of the belly on that one, guys. Right in the snoot. I have really big hands. This guy is cold. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful bluegill. Look at the color in that one. Hopefully you guys can see that. I wear my camera on my head just so I can get better view. Big old beautiful bluegill. Look at that purple and that blue, that bright yellow belly. That thing is about an inch and a half wide. Just under a pound, I'd say. Let's let him go. Whew, man, that is so much fun, guys. I really encourage you to pick you up one of these rods. These things are amazing if you love to do this kind of fishing. <clears throat> Lightweight. You can feel a ton of movement and vibration through this rod. It lets you get out there and get really far cast compared to the smaller ultralights. Definitely a beautiful investment, guys. <laughs> I watched that one follow it all the way up to the banks. Not quite as big, but every bit is beautiful. Look at the colors on that one. Cold bluegill. <laughs> 